Hello all and welcome back to Idio Sins Let's Play of Kingdom Hearts 1.5, Final Mix, blah blah blah. I'm a little mad because I guess there's no way of really uh, changing the sound settings in this game. Nor can you even exit back to the main menu once you've like loaded into your game. It's really weird. It's totally bizarre to see something that's so kind of dysfunctional in this day and age. So I'm, I'm very sorry about the volume of the game and how it tends to override my voice's volume and so i guess i'm just gonna have to yell from here on out which is gonna suck but i'll try to speak louder Have we talked to this dude yet what does he have to say what's up I feel more energetic because i'm forcing my voice like this this town has grown as people have lost their home worlds and come here it's easy to get lost in such a big sprawling place be careful. What's behind the gate, man? Mailbox. Send ten postcards to win something. Good luck. Okay, we can lift that. We might have to use it for something. How did I do that? Oh, this I can look in first person. I don't know if they let you do this in the first, the, in the original version of this game. It's pretty cool. This is the item workshop, Koopa. We're researching item synthesis and super weapon forging. That door leads to the second district. Beyond that lies the third district. Why are you standing there? What is your fucking problem, dude? I have a key, dumbass. You didn't, you didn't even try the key. Who doesn't just try to open every lock when they have a giant key in their hand? Uh oh. I didn't know Heartless could take that shit so easily. Here we go. It's those creatures from the island. By the way, if you're wondering about what difficulty level I'm playing on, I am playing on Proud. Which is the hardest difficulty. And yes, I just say I'm the good. JK LOL or am I? Okay, right, gotta pick up the money. The money is important. I mean I can barely hear the sound of my voice above the volume of this game with my ear my headphones in. I don't know why I insist on playing with headphones, but whatever. It's a carving of a bell. There seems to be a big bell above the gizmo shop. Okay. Alleyway. I'm trying to remember what triggers the cutscene next so I can avoid it as much as possible. I want to figure out how to get up onto that awning so I can open that chest. Probably going to need a box or something. There's a hotel. A door that goes nowhere. Is it possible, guys, to jump from this lantern to that awning? Yes, it is. Postcard! Yay! That's one out of ten.
Grinding a lot of XP, look at how much my health has increased. Oh, I have that ability now, I forgot about that. Okay, there's EXP zero. Entire party gains no EXP. And then there's Slapshot, rapidly strike enemies ahead of you. Occasionally deals critical damage. Alright, let's equip that. I think I just healed the crit right there. Money, money, money. Money. Let's check out the hotel. Staff only. Currently closed off. Currently closed off. Alright guys, that's it. Let's go. We're just gonna go into people's hotel rooms. Let's do it. Uh, there ain't nothing here. There ain't nothing here. Let's check out the alleyway. Let's fight more Heartless. Alright. Oh, of course. Leon, Mr. Leon, where are you? Oh, terrible impressions. I'm just gonna go home now, guys. Potion! Thought I saw a Heartless. Dalmatian's house? Oh my god! I didn't know they lived in Traverse Town. Just like I didn't know that Titus and Walker grew up on Destiny Islands. Oh, this is a nice place. I, I forgot about this place. It's a nice little home. Apparently no one lives here anymore. It's a little disturbing. The 99 puppies were lost amid the chaos of the world's destruction. Find them in various worlds. Oh, fun, a little collectible quest. These must be the parents. They are so dejected that they are frozen in time. Alright, let's go to the third district. What's it up here? Oh, this is the gizmo shop. Okay. We haven't checked this out yet. Hmm, where is he? Leon! Is it never ending in here? What, what's going on? That has to be it. Yeah, that's it. No! <laughs> nope. Kind of wobbly. Guess I can't climb it now. Fucking quitter. Oh, I think there's a boss battle in this area. Yay, I love boss battles. I'm fucking rich. I'm pickle rich. What's in here? Jack shit, that's what? What if I... Is it possible, guys? Nope. 
I know if I cross a certain invisible line in this area, I'm gonna trigger a cutscene, so I'm trying not to. I'm trying to see what I see here. Currently closed off. It's emblazoned with a stylized flame. That's interesting. So I guess I have to use fire to get in there, probably. Man, Slapshot's a great ability. Deal a lot of extra damage that way. What's this? Oh, I don't want to attack that. I want to see what it is, but... There we go. Lots of shards. There are cords sticking out of the pipe. I can see that. Alright, avoid this area. Avoid the middle at all costs. I always wonder what these little symbols are. There was like a red one right where we started in Traverse Town, and now there's this blue one here. Also, uh, I'd like to give a shout out to one of my sponsors. Um, my neighborhood HOA, they fed me free spaghetti today. I didn't have to use any of my dwindling food rations in my home. So thank you to Camino Del Sol for providing me with free food every now and then. That was a pretty good spaghetti. I appreciate it. Oh look, it's the lady in the tramp. We That was the theme of tonight's... Wow, dude. Small worlds. So the theme of tonight's free food thing in my neighborhood was Lady and the Tramp because we ate spaghetti and we pet therapy dogs. And then I run into this? I mean, come on. Coincidence? I think not. Looks like it's locked. God, sorry. Look at this. Look, look at what you have in your fucking hand. Dipshit. Well, I'm not triggering a cutscene like I remembered I was going to. I thought for sure. Maybe I just had to try to leave? That didn't do anything either. Heartless showed up. Ooh, I got a cottage. I think that's like a tent. Been to the item shop. Been to this shop. I'm just gonna keep trying to push forward into the city, but I don't think it's doing anything. Let me go up here. Oh, there we go. Oh, nice. Got a secret little area. Potion. Currently closed off. This is just the outside. These are the balconies in the hotel. Uh, what do I do? What am I missing? Sid. You're not being very helpful. I guess I'll save, though. That's helpful. Thanks for having this here, bud. Are you fucking you serious? Who are you? That was so arbitrary. And they'll keep on coming at you. As long as you continue to wield the keyblade. The game just wants you to stick but your why? head in the sand. Why would it choose a kid like you? Hey, what's that supposed to mean? Never mind. Now, let's see that keyblade. What? There's no way you're getting this. <laughs> All right. Then have it your way. Little fucking asshole. I'm the fucking keyblade wielder. Who do you think you are? I'm gonna defeat him, guys. I have a good feeling about this. 
It's gonna be easy. This should help. Okay, a lot of tech I can see from this. Come on, shoot your fireball. Do it. Do it. Do it. Come on. This should help. Get wrecked, son. Get wrecked. It's one of those stupid fights where it's like, just, you, you like, the narrative can't advance unless you lose. No oh no, I beat him. I can lose. I beat him. Holy shit, I beat him. Now you... Oh, you're slipping, Leon. Fat, 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 fat. I went easy on him. I'm crushing bottles Looks like for the things environment. are worse than we thought. A lot worse. You didn't go easy on me. You were clearly trying your hardest with all those half-hast, half-hast, half-hast swings. Muted Riku's mic. Come on, that's not funny, guys. I love how we went to like a civilized place and he just got fucked. Gorsh, there's nobody here. Sure is spooky. Sorry, I'm not scared. Excuse me, did the king send you? Fap, 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 fap. Come on, lazy bum, wake up. You okay? Uh, I guess. Those creatures that attacked you are after the Keyblade. But it's your heart they really want, because you wield the Keyblade. Okay. I'm so glad that you're okay, Kairi. Kairi? Who are you talking about? I'm the great ninja Yuffie. Hmm? I think you might have overdone it, Squall. I beat your ass, nigga. That's Leon. The Keyblade. Yeah. We had to get it away from you to shake off those creatures. It turns out, that's how they were tracking you. It was the only way to conceal your heart from them. But it won't work for long. Still, hard to believe that you, of all people, are the chosen one. Oh. Well, I suppose beggars can't be choosers. Why don't you start making sense? What's going on here? Oh, fucking wrecked. You got blown okay. the fuck out, Squall. You know there are many other worlds out there, besides your castle in this town, right? Yeah. But they're supposed to be a secret. Those are locations. They've been secret, because they've never been connected. What do you mean Until worlds? Until now. The castle is in its when own the world? When the came, everything changed. Like my house is the in a world? Heartless? The ones who attacked you, you remember? Those without hearts. The darkness in people's hearts. That's what attracts them. And there is darkness within every heart. Hey, have you heard of someone named Ansem? I am Sam? No. He was studying the heartless. 
He recorded all of his findings in a very detailed report. Gorge. Oh, uh, can we see it? Its pages are scattered everywhere. Scattered? Too many worlds. Oh, then maybe the king went to find them. Yes, those were my thoughts exactly. We've got to find them quick. Red. First, we need that key. That's right. The keyblade. So, how do they all just the know key. what the fuck is going exactly. on? They just all the know. Heartless have great fear of the keyblade. That's why they'll keep coming after you, no matter what. Well, I didn't ask for this. The heartless the will fear the keyblade. chooses its master, and it chose you. So, tough luck. How did all this happen? And the I Nazis remember being will in my fear room. us. <gasps> and the Nazis will hate us. Wait and a the minute. Nazis will what happened to my home? My island. Us. Riku! Kairi! You know what? I really don't know. Yo, you, if you wanna fuck. I've heard that the Keyblade can open all sorts of locks. Give it a try the next time you find a treasure chest or door lock. So she tells us about the door locks, and now we know to fucking try a key in a keyhole. Seriously? Oh, okay, apparently I can't go to the title screen unless I get one of these save points with, like, the spinning shit on it. I still can't adjust the sound settings, though. That's not... Look, look. Where are their sound settings, guys? They don't have them. What kind of fucking game doesn't have sound settings? <laughs> Blah. Elixir! I gotta equip more potions. Alright, what's this cottage? Yeah, it's like a tent. Okay. Sooner or later, the Heartless will find you. You best prepare yourself. Prepare myself to fight for your life. Are you ready? I'm ready! Oh wait, no, I didn't want to fucking say I'm ready. Oh well, well let's go. Leon! Yuffie, go! Yuffie! Sora, let's go! What? It disappeared in the room and then it jumped out the window. Like, what's. Very Looney Tunes right there. Don't bother with the small fry. Find the leader. Let's go. Fuck that, I'm fighting the small fry. I want an XP. They seem to be able to deflect my attacks quite a lot. Ooh, that was perfect! I didn't get hit a single time, that was awesome. They drop a lot of money, too. Are these the heartless guys? Let's go get them! Go see! <laughs> see, this is the cutscene that I remember, and I know that there's a boss right now. Okay. But, I mean, getting here was really annoying. Oh yeah! Boss time, baby! Well, after we kill all these knights. Man, it'd be good to have a team. I'm gonna wreck this shit right now, boy.
Alright, let's see if I remember anything about this fight. I want to pick up all this money right now, though. I frankly don't give a shit about anything else but the money. Alright, we're gonna go for that hand. Okay, nice, nice, nice. So this is the bow that was on top of the dead my top, I got got taken over by Heartless. Go for the feet, go for the feet. No! Yeah, the feet seem to be the most vulnerable. I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die. I should have gone for the health orb. Oh well. Sweet, are we taking out parts? I think we took out one of his hands already. Oh, fuck. Help, help, help. I need help. Nice, nice, nice. Very nice. That's like all the swims, right? We gotta get that. Stop it midair. That was sick. Nice! Oh, he's got no limbs. He's like the Monty Python knight. Bah, tis merely a flesh wound. Whoops. Donald is knocked out. Oh well, brother. Not bad! I could have done better though. Brave Warrior. It's a new accessory. So, you were looking for me? Mm -hmm. They too have been seeking the wielder of the Keyblade. Hey, why don't you come with us? We can go to other worlds on our vessel. I wonder if I could find Riku and Kairi. Of course. <laughs> Are you sure? Who knows? <laughs> but we need a little much less to help us find the king. Sora, go with them. Especially if you want to find your friends. Yeah, I guess. But you can't come along looking like that. Understand? Mm -hmm. No problem. No shot friends. Okay? Yeah, you gotta look funny. Like us. <laughs> yep. Whoa. Yes, but runs on happy faces. Shut the fuck up, happy. What is happiness? My heart is a hollow shell. <laughs> Wake me up inside. Can't wake up. That's one funny face. Okay, why not? I'll go with you guys. Name's Goofy. I'm Sora. All for one, one for all. They were just instant best buds. That little squirt took down that heartless. Who'd have thought it? Fucking Hades, my nigga. the power of the keyblade. Jafar. The child's strength is not his own. Why don't we turn him into a heartless? First of all, uh -huh. that yeah, I got it. quick enough. And the black flames <laughs> of the king's lackeys swung on the eyes. They're all built tracks by the look of them. You're no prize yourself. <laughs> uh, 
Oogie Boogie or something? Enough. The Keyblade Maleficent. has chosen him. Will it be he who conquers the darkness? Or will the darkness swallow him? Either way, he could be quite useful. Make sure you're prepared for the journey ahead of you. We don't know how far the Heartless have spread. Check out the shops here, they've got some pretty neat stuff. Also, look at my ass a lot and jack off to it. I don't care, I'm just a CGI thing. This is from all of us. Spend it as you see fit. And this is from Leon. Good luck! I hope you find your friends. Look out for each other. Keep your spirits up. The gummy ship is outside that gate. You can teleport to the gummy ship from save points. Open the save menu and select gummy ship. Not all save points let you board the gummy ship. You know, just the green circling ones. But what? That's our ship! Wait till you see it! Hold on. Sora, this is for you. Woo! Woo! I need to get AP up. Well, I see big adventures coming their way. Looks like it's up to me to keep track of it all in my journal. Who asked? Alright, let's check out the journal. Chronicles, Sora's story. Sora, a boy born and raised on an island, dreamed of seeing the outside world. He and his friends Riku and Kairi began building a raft with which to sail away. One day, Sora ventured into the island's secret cave and met a stranger who had come from beyond the door. That night, disaster struck Sora's island. Riku and Kairi disappeared and Sora was left with a mysterious weapon. With it, he defeated monsters that had suddenly appeared everywhere, spawned from an enormous sphere of darkness. But the darkness swallowed the island. Meanwhile, Disney Castle was in an uproar. King Mickey had vanished, leaving only a note behind. With this sole clue, Donald and Goofy set out to find him. Somehow, Sora ended up in a place called Traverse Town, where he met Leon, Aerith, and Yuffie and learned about the Heartless, beings of darkness, and the secret behind his weapon, the Keyblade. It is the key to unlocking some great power. Before long, Sora also met Donald and Goofy, who were looking for Leon and joined forces with them. Characters Sora A spirited youth, he was cast into an unknown world when a swarm of Heartless raided his island. He battles with the Heartless with a mysterious weapon called the Keyblade as he searches for his friend Kairi. Let's look at that ass, though. Not bad. High and tight, you know? Not bad at all. Riku. Islander. A self-confident youth always competing with Sora. He hated the monotony of island life and built a raft with Sora and Kairi to explore the outside world. Riku seems to have vanished along with the Destiny Islands. But what about that ass, though? Practically non-existent. Fucking shit tier. Kairi. Islander. Kairi, Sora, and Riku were best friends. They built a raft to sail out and to see new worlds. The three were separated when a mysterious force struck the Destiny Islands. Thus does Sora's search for Kairi begin. Uh... She's really not that much. Mickey Mouse. King of Disney Castle. He set out to learn more about the darkness and left instructions for Donald and Goofy to find and follow the key bearer. No one knows where King Mickey is now, but they are determined to find him. He made his debut in Steamboat Willie, 1928. We can't look at his ass. Donald Duck, royal magician. Skilled in magic, but can be short-tempered and stubborn. He set out in the gummy ship with Goofy to find the king. Donald has joined forces with Sora, the key bearer alluded to in the king's letter. Donald made his green debut in The Wise Little Hen, 1934. And he's got a great ass. I mean, look at that fat fucking ass, dude. He's a fupa lord. Goofy, captain of the Royal Knights. He avoids fighting whenever possible. Mickey's most loyal subject. He set out on the gummy ship with Donald to find King Mickey. He has joined forces with Sora, obeying Mickey's command to follow the key bearer. Goofy made his first train appearance in Mickey's Review, 1932. Oh my god, long and low, that's a dad butt. Oh, whew. Minnie Mouse, queen of Disney Castle, ruling in Mickey's absence. I, Jiminy Cricket, and am accompanying Donald and Goofy as the Royal Chronicler at her request. 
Queen Minnie is more concerned than anyone about the king's disappearance. Minnie made her screen debut in Steamboat Willie, 1928. Now, you can't see it here. What's going on? I can't rotate her. They didn't want me to get perverted with Minnie. I was going to demonstrate how you can't really see her ass because of the traditional dress that she's wearing. But it looks like they they don't even want me to spin her. Look, they let me spin everyone else. But Minnie is off limits, man. They even grayed out the text for the rotate. Why? Daisy Duck. Donald's sweetheart. She's helping Minnie while the others look for King Mickey. She has Donald under her thumb and does a good job of keeping him in line. She originally appeared as Daisy in Mr. Duck Steps Out, 1940. And she's got a fantastic ass. Just like her hubby. Pluto. Mickey's faithful dog. Pluto is more than a pet. He and Mickey are bound by strong ties of loyalty. Pluto set out with the others to find his master. Will that famous nose of his lead him to Mickey? Pluto originally appeared in the Chain Gang, 1930. He's got that beautiful eggplant butt, you know? Chip, one of the kingdom's specialists, helps maintain the gummy ship which can travel to any destination. Chip is more serious and diligent than his easygoing, playful partner, Dale. Chip and Dale's first appearance was in Private Pluto, 1943. Oh my god, look at him twerk. Dale, one of the kingdom's specialists, helps maintain the gummy ship which can travel to any destination. Compared to the more serious Chip, he takes a happy-go-lucky approach to life. Chip and Dale's first appearance was in Private Pluto, 1943. Twerk that ass, twerk that ass. I don't know, something about Dale is uh, way hotter. But Chip's got that innocent thing going, you know? Huey, one of Donald's three nephews. Huey is the leader, and he keeps playful Dewey and laid-back Louie in line. You can spot Huey by his trademark red cap. Huey began tormenting his uncle Donald and none of Donald's nephews, 1938. Oh, he's got he's got a good starter ass right there. Dewey, one of Donald's three nephews, always wears a blue cap, cheerful and easygoing. He works with his brothers in a shop in Traverse Town. Dewey began tormenting his uncle Donald and Donald's nephews, 1938. Yeah, 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 yeah. And Louie. One of Donald's three nephews works with his brothers in a shop in Traverse Town, gentle and carefree, but notices a lot of things others miss. To find him, look for a green cap. Louie began tormenting his uncle Donald in Donald's nephews, 1938. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It wasn't really that much about Dewey. Brooms. Enchanted brooms with a life of their own. They tidy up, maintain the gummy ship, do house repairs, wait on others, just about anything useful. They swept onto the screen in Fantasia, 1940, which is my favorite Disney movie, by the way. And look at that long and low butt, dude. Leon. A swordsman who wields a gunblade. His real name is Squall Leonhardt. He escaped to Traverse Town when the Heartless raided his home world. To part with his old self, a man who had been helpless to stop them, he changed his name. Since meeting the king who has been so vigilant against the Heartless, Leon has sought the truth behind the key. Final Fantasy VIII. To stop who? The Heartless? Why did he have to change his name to be able to fight Heartless? So he could enter this world? Yuffie. A female ninja who escaped to Traverse Town when her home world was taken by the Heartless. She stays strong and cheerful in any situation. She works with Leon and Aerith to unravel the secret of the key. Final Fantasy VII. Oh. Aerith. She lost her home to the Heartless at a very young age. Beneath her gentle disposition lies a strong will and a firm sense of duty. Many are naturally drawn to her. Aerith works with Leon and Yuffie to learn more about the Heartless and the Key. Final Fantasy VII. Oh, 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 oh. She's got great tits. Sid, owner of an accessory shop in Traverse Town, a highly skilled engineer and a first-rate pilot. When the Heartless invaded his world, he escaped to Traverse Town on a gummy ship he built himself. He is an expert on gummy ships. Final Fantasy VII. They could have picked a different Sid. I mean, it didn't have to be seven for like three characters. Titus, a cheerful, self-confident boy who lived on the Destiny Islands. He considers himself a champ at everything. Nobody knows what happened to him after his island disappeared. Oh shit, and then he grew up. Oh, he died. I guess he died. I mean, if you follow the story of Ten. Selfie, a spunky girl who lived on the Destiny Islands. She is rather impulsive and quite the romanticist. Nobody knows what happened to her after her island disappeared. Final Fantasy VIII. 
Uh, why does she have to show so much skin for being like 11? Waka. A boy who lived on the Destiny Islands. He looks out for Titus and Selfie like a big brother. Nobody knows what happened to him after his island disappeared. Best ass in the game. Moogles. Escaped to Traverse Town when the Heartless invaded their home. They know how to combine various items to form new ones. Many Final Fantasies. Oh, look at those little wings. Mwah. Mwah. Jiminy Cricket. That's me, the cricket who keeps Pinocchio to the straight and narrow. I'm along the quest as the Royal Chronicler. Look for me in Pinocchio, 1940. Woo! Look at those coattails. A heartless. Shadow. Heartless that emerge from various places. They sneak up to their enemies and strike them with sharp claws. They are extremely tenacious, often chasing their prey to the end. I've defeated 220 of them, and look at those little butts. Soldier. Heartless that emerge from various places. They are brisk in their movements and rush into their opponents. However, they are not that tenacious. They often appear in numbers, though they lack teamwork. Defeated 28. Okay, that's a tight little ass. Look at that. That's great. Love it. I don't think we've fought anything. Oh yeah, I got the bosses. Dark side. Enormous Heartless that appeared in Destiny Islands with Shadows. It led the Shadows in the battle against Sora when he first received the Keyblade. Although Sora defeated it, the island was swallowed by the darkness. Nami, nami, nami. Guard Armor. Leader of the Heartless in Traverse Town.